Yeah, so there are many, uh, many treatments that, in general, this goes under an umbrella term called uh, remyelination therapies. Um, and there are many, many of those treatments that promote repair of the myelin sheaths. Um, there is one that has been tested in, in the clinic called uh, Clemastine, um, which was developed by the lab of Jonah Shen. Um, and the main like problems with the remyelination therapy so far in the clinic is that they have had like limit, some limited, somewhat limited effect. So they have been demonstrated to be effective, but usually you need to give them for um, for long uh, a long period. Um, so I think we really like uh, understanding of what is the best remyelination therapy. Uh, like how should we be giving it in the into patients? Right? Should be something that the patient should should be continuously on, or something that it's more intermittent. Like do all of the remyelination therapies work the same? Um, or are there differences between uh, the different types? So the type we uh, are studying is a thyroid hormone mimetic, and it's known since the 90s that thyroid hormones uh, promote remyelination. But then the main uh, problem of thyroid hormone mimetics is that they usually have uh, pretty significant side effects uh, due to all the peripheral functions of the thyroid hormone. So if you're in changing the system, uh, to uh, promote only trying to promote remyelination, we need to be more specific about those effects. Uh, and that drug that uh, Autobahn Therapeutics developed um, is attempting to do that, to be a bit more specific. It's more targeted towards the brain because it's a pro drug that is converted to the active drug in the brain. Uh, and it's also targeting more the specific receptor that is involved with uh, remyelination, which is the thyroid hormone receptor beta. Uh, but luckily, I think there are many groups investigating many different types of remyelination therapies. I mentioned clemastine, um, and but there are many other types of, of therapies. Now other groups are studying, um, and this is important. I think we 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 know little about it uh, yet. So the more people investigating, the the better will be like for the future. I think it, those therapies are pretty promising because we know remyelination uh, is able to restore function. But I think we need to understand better how they work and how we can make them work better. Um, and also in the context of MS, do they work? well for like re relapsing remitting ms or progressive ms what what is the the space where we can use remyelination therapies and i think uh, what we i see too and envision is that they will be additive to the other therapies that are out already out there right so you probably still need to block the immune system so you still need to use immunosuppressants you might need to uh, also create a microenvironment that stimulates um, repair by blocking some of the pathways that that block mild information uh, so um, i think the more people investigating this area the more promising faster this will come come to the clinic